Dozens of Flint residents are now on buses heading to Washington so they can be there tomorrow for Governor Snyder's testimony before Congress. Snyder is expected to answer some tough questions, and tonight we're getting our first look at what he plans to say. Defender Kevin Dietz is live in Washington, and Kevin, a lot of people have been waiting for this day. They have been, and not only is the governor testifying, but he is testifying under oath, and we expect that he will throw members of the MDEQ right underneath the bus. He has said that experts in his own agency gave him bad information and that they are to blame, but don't expect members of Congress to let the governor off the hook that easily. As I'm sitting here listening to all of this, it is sickening, all of it. Members of Congress say they appreciate the opportunity to question Governor Rick Snyder, but make no mistake, they believe his team is failing to cooperate from his former chief of staff. You know Dennis Dennis much more? I do. He won't talk to us, okay? He was the chief of staff, but he, would, he refused to talk to us. To former MDEQ boss Dan Wyant, who was questioned by Congress in private. Mr. Wyant was a very difficult witness who evaded many of our questions. He said in all the time he served as director, and despite all of the public outrage about the state's inaction, the topic of Flint water was never raised in any cabinet meeting. And if the governor thought he had a friend in former Flint Mayor Dane Walling, he found out he doesn't. The governor discounted the complaints, even of concerned pastors and parents, apparently from his office's emails because we were viewed as adversaries of the financial manager system with illegitimate claims, when in fact, we're Michigan citizens with toxic water. The governor says he wants to talk about fixing the problem and preventing it in the future in any other American city. Members of Congress may have other ideas. But I gotta tell you, the governor's office has not been very cooperative with us um, at all. The governor is coming Thursday, and we will ask him those questions as well. It is going to get very heated tomorrow when the governor testifies, but members of Congress say it has to be because they have to find out what happened so that it never happens again in any other American city. Governor Snyder will testify at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and the defenders will be there and bring you the latest throughout the day. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Okay, Kevin, we look forward to your reports tomorrow. Thank you.